Happy 4th of July, everyone. Shea Bear 1000 here. Got a couple things going on today. Let me tell you about them. Okay, guys, so a few hours ago, I had a old boy stop by and was asking me about the John Deere's over there. Told him they weren't for sale. I told him I had one though, uh, needed a little work, which was my simplicity, the old orange tractor. And we got talking about it and I fired it up for him and everything. And Well, he drove it home. Uh, I asked him what he had in trading stock. Say so he called it a tiller, it's an edger, but I'm gonna use it for the garden next year. Uh, I said, well, go get it. He said, it doesn't run. I said, I don't care. And uh, he said he thinks it needs carburetor work. He says, if you pour gas in the carburetor, it'll start. So, not sure. Just a little old Briggs and Stratton. We got to talking. I said, well, you know, I'd really like to have a tiller. And he told me about a scooter he had. I said, well, you know, I don't know. And uh, he said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll throw a scooter in with this for that orange track. I said, all right, go get it. I didn't even look at it. I didn't even see it. This is what he brought me. He told me it was a 49cc, which it is. You know, it's a little rough, but I can build something out of it or part it out or whatever. Remember, the orange tractor was given to me. I don't have any money in it. So... Um, now out back I do have an old one of these a 73 or maybe a 75 I can't remember uh, bearings are bad up here in it and stuff but the engine does run it's a little two horsepower Briggs it's about that size I'm thinking you know that's later on we'll have to see this does not have a pool start or a fuel tank it's no biggie um, there's a little little nut right here that usually you can put a uh, a drill on it and start them we'll worry about that later this is just kind of like a bonus uh, maybe I can build something out of it I don't know you know it's got decent tread on it but this one here I thought well let's see if it'll see if we can get it to start it's not locked up um, he says it will but I don't know. let's see here it's a 3.8 horsepower so it's bigger than I thought it would feels like it's got low compression okay so let me get you on the stand here it's going to rain I got my grill out I'm hoping it'll cool down before it rains so I gotta put it in the garage So, let's pull that plug out of there. Let's see if it's got spark. But it just feels to me like it's got a little compression. Uh, could be a bad engine. I don't know. But, not real worried about it. Because like I said, I got a two horsepower back there, Briggs and Stratton. And I want to... Look at this plug right here that you guys can't see. Whoop. And we're going to be looking to see if it's got any spark there. Make sure it's turned on. It's got plenty of spark. So, let's shoot a little starting flow down in it. Just feels to me like it could be a valve issue or a ring issue. Uh, it's got a little bit of compression. But let's just see if it'll start. Come on.
There we go. <coughs> I don't know, I just thought I'd do a quick upload for you for the 4th of July. <coughs> See if it'll fire. No fire. So, shit. Uh, let me see. Not firing. Choke's open. Let's close the choke. Oh, it is firing. So I think it'll run. So, hmm. Let me see if I got some gas around here somewhere. I don't think I do. Uh, yeah, let me see if I got some gas. So I got some of this. It's fine, it won't hurt anything. It's poor, well, let me see what's in here first. Could just be it's got a little gas in it so he's probably right it probably does have a carb issue probably a sticky float but let's add some more in all right see if we can get it to fire again Carburetor's down under here, and so I'm guessing, yeah, it's not sucking any gas up in. So there's a carburetor right there. It's an older one. It uh, it's got an adjustment on the bottom of it, but. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a wrench. We'll take that bowl off there, see if a bunch of gas comes draining out. Okay, it's got gas coming down. It's got gas coming out of there. So I'm get I'm betting the carburetor, it's either got a lot of water in it, or the carburetor is not letting it suck up through the jets. Alright, so I'm gonna screw this all the way in and back it out about a turn and a half. There's a half, there's one. There's a half a turn. So it could just have a lot of water in it. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Um, let me get something to catch a little bit of that gas in. See how much water's in it. Okay, so I did find it does have a little water in it, but I don't know if it's dirty. I didn't see any dirt, but there is some water in it, so let's pour some gas down into the carburetor here. Okay. Now, 
now. Let's give us some choke. And let's crank it. Yeah, it's pretty dry. So my guess is the jets are clogged up. Oops. See if that does anything. Ugh. All right. Whew. Let me drain all that gas out of there. All right, guys. It's pouring, but I drained that all out. Put some fresh gas in it. The other gas had a little water in it. So let's give it a try now. Go. Fire. Let me take a break. It's gonna run, it's firing. All right guys, we're gonna give it one more time. I'm about worn out here. Pan is storming. <laughs> so let's pull it a couple more times and see what happens. Um, you probably can't hear it, but if you can see that, that blade down there. That blade will turn. So it's starting, but it's not staying running. So let's try it again. See, it's firing there. Let's take it off the choke. See, it's firing, it'll run. One more break. Okay guys, I pulled it a couple more times as you saw. It's firing, but it's not staying running. So, I don't think it's getting fuel like it should. So, uh, I called that a Briggs, I think that's a Tecumseh. A Shitcumseh? <laughs> it's got a Tecumseh carburetor, but uh, Extended life engine. Well, we'll see about that. And I don't know what this says here on the side. Fast start or something. Easy start. Let me grab my glasses. <clears throat> but I'm sure I can get it running. It's not a big deal. Rapid start. Yeah. <laughs> when? <laughs> 
All right, guys, that'll do it for today. I can only pull these things so many times. I'm not supposed to do it at all, but, you know, I can't sit around and do nothing. So anyway, hope you guys had a great 4th of July and 4th of July weekend. Stay tuned for more videos. Maybe we'll work on that more tomorrow. When we started on this, it was 91. Real feel was over 100, so. And then, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Rained like crazy. It was lightning. And so, all right. I'm pretty sure I can get it running. If anything, we'll pull that pull start off of there. And we'll put a drill on it and start it up. Might just be, you know, have some carbon build up or something. Sticky valve. Who knows? We'll get it going. These things are easy. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear with Mr. Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye, and take care.